Bar. This is Crypto Guy in South Africa. Last time we made a recording of the new Explorer that was developed for Rovac for the competition entry. And I did make mention that new features are going to be coming through. So today I'm going to talk about one or two features that have come through and just to give you an idea of what is, is available. So we're on the votes tab. And as you can see on the votes tab, we can see the different delegates or the super representatives we can vote for. Um, but we can't really see any information about them. So if I type this in the search bar, these buttons come up available. Eventually these buttons will be there permanently, but we've just, uh, it's just been activated to just when we type in that show visibility. Now the point of this is that when you vote for a delegate, you can get information about that person so that you're not just voting blindly and you know what you're voting for. So if we click on that button, it will then go into a page where it shows information about the representative. So you can scroll down and you can see all the information and it's in a nice, neat format, easily to see. Now, this is great. You know, this is, this is, this is what you, know, you want to see if you're a person that's voting for a delegate. But now, me as a delegate, I don't have that button yet. So how do I get that activated? So that's what I'm going to focus now on and how to get that activated so you know the info about me to make a good vote. So if I go to my account, I'm already logged in. In my account, you know, you can see this top section here. You can fill in, you can change a name and change some details here. This name here on CryptoGuy in ZA will go to that representative page and add it on the top. If you don't, it'll just say representative. And if we scroll down, we'll see that there's two new buttons. These buttons weren't here before, so now we can say show more information. So this show more information is gonna show us how to add that page in. So to add that page in, you can see that if I scroll up, it's part of a repository, it's a new repository made, a template repository. If I scroll down, it tells us how to do it. So you just need to read through and it's gonna show you, this is an example of the page that will be made or what it'll look like and you know the dimensions of the banner and the image that you're looking for for your logo and the info you're gonna fill in. Then some example super representative pages, so you can see mine over there. But if we scroll down, you're gonna get an idea of how to use it or how to create it. So from this template, you're basically gonna fork it. You obviously need your own GitHub account. Then once you do a fork, you'll have this template in your repository and you just need to fill in the details. And then obviously commit the changes that you fill in. You need to upload files for your logos. And then you, all you need to do is go log into your web wallet. you'll then be able to link it via GitHub. So once you've linked it, you should be able to see it. So let's let's give that a quick try just to make sure. So as I mentioned, here's a repository, you'll click fork, it will then go and create a copy in yours. So I'm just gonna go to my profile now. Then in my profile, I'm gonna go there. And then we can see this is my copy of it. And I've already started filling information in here so I'm just gonna go in one just to show you. There we go, I've added my information. It's fairly easy to add your information. You just go in here, you edit the file, and you type in over here, whatever you wanna type. So let me just do that, as an example. And then you just say, commit your changes. Then once you've completed everything, um, then you can go to the wallet and link it. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to Tron Explorer. I'm gonna say set GitHub link. So now I'm going to then link it. Then it says, okay, great, it's been linked. You can get an idea of the link. If I open it again, it's gonna to go to where I found it or my repository that I just showed you. So that's fine. Um, we can view the representative page. So let's have a view of that. So it's just loading it. Now remember I told you if you change that name on the top, it'll show it over here. So you can see it over there. And then you can see here's the intro. You can see that I changed this. It is over there. It automatically refreshes automatically. And then we can scroll down and we get more and more info. Okay, so that's there now. So. Let me go back up. Let's go back to the votes pages. And there we go. We can see that it's loaded. And from there I can click here and then people when voting 
can see information about me and make sure that they vote for me based on the info they see here. So obviously if the info is appealing, they will vote for me. If the info is not appealing, they won't vote for me. This, you know, stops you from having to go outside of the website to find out information about who to vote um, into the top 28 or top 27, should we say. Another feature that's been added is the language. So over here, before we only had English, now we have English and a few languages. I know this one's uh, Korean, so if I click there, you can see over there it changes. Not everywhere it's changed, but a lot of it has changed. Um, if we go back to the repository, let's go to the original repository, you can see that there's this folder, Pages, and then you can add translations also for your page if you would like to do that. And these are the supported languages. So as you can see, there's been some improvements that Robert's made to his competition entry. 